If you haven't already heard John Cooper's post-game comments about Colorado's OT game winner, you're going to want to hear this. This one's going to sting much more than others just because I think it was taken on. It was potential. I don't know. I, it's hard for me. This is going to be hard for me to speak. I'm going to have to speak. I'll speak with you tomorrow. You're going to see what I mean when you see the winning goal. And I, my heart breaks for the players because we probably still should be playing. Um, I'll be available tomorrow. Now, the reason why he said this was because he feels the Avalanche had too many men on the ice when the goal was scored. Here's a look at the goal. Not that my opinion counts for literally anything, but in my eyes, that is definitely too many men on the ice by the Avs. You can decide for yourself, though. But as frustrating of a situation as this is for the Lightning, they're now in as deep of a hole as they've been for the last few years with their backs against the wall heading back into Denver down 3-1 in the series. That's why we have a veteran group. That's why you know we've been put in a lot of these situations where this is just another situation we're going to have to get through. Um, we're not focused on the game after. We're just focused on the next game. It's going to be quite the environment, I'm sure, in Denver, but it's something, a challenge we look forward to. There's nothing to lose now. we got to go out and... You know, we have to have the, the game of our season next game. So we know it's going to be difficult. Uh, you know, we know they're, they're a heck of a team over there, but we're not we're not going to quit. Being down 3-1, we haven't seen that before. So, uh, but this is one thing I know about this group is that we respond well to, to adversity and, you know, we're a resilient group. It's do or die for the Bolts on Friday. We'll see if they can push the series to a game six and be right back here in just a few days. Rachel West, Tampa Bay Times.